Yeah, no. I'm like Lady Gaga. I have to have outfit changes after every commercial break. <laughs> it's mandatory well in every done. way. Yes. No, we thought it'd be weird. We thought it'd be weird because we're, we're doing a piece about these crazy speedboats. We thought it'd be weird if we were tossing the speedboat piece while in a runner's store. So we came to the sidewalk instead because that's much more natural. But yeah, so we're doing this piece about um, these speedboats, IBR, inflatable boat racing. They're inflatable boats. They race each other. It's big in South Africa and they let me do it out oh. on Long Island. So you're going to see that in a couple minutes. And it's the craziest, oh. wow. most it's insane like the sense of speed you could possibly feel. It, I know it's ins it's like you're floating on the wall. It's like you're a hovercraft. Like Looks you're, you're, like you're holding on really for cool. dear life. He is. Yeah, you are. You are. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. That's Gosh. intense. All right, looking forward to that. And also, I do love on yeah. a chilly day like today a nice comfort meal, Mati Soul. Mm -hmm. Well, look no further than yours truly. Uh, I will be cooking. Actually, the name of this dish is up for debate. I yeah. call it pasta fajol. Yeah. Some people call it pasta fajol. Either way, chef and restaurateur Scott Conan is going to be teaching us how to make this. He has a new cookbook out, Peace, Love, and Pasta. pasta Perfect fajol. name, by the way. Uh, but he's going to be joining us at 1030, and I'm going to cook along with him. We're going to talk about the book. We're going to talk about pasta fajol. I, I have, there will be enough to share. Ben, I'm sorry. Wait, she says um, what, and you pasta, say? I'm listening to my, yeah, okay. Dinner is ready. Come down. It's pasta oh. fajoule. Fajoule. Pasta fajoule? Yeah, that's right. I had pasta to go through my fajoule. mother yelling. You had yelling to play it. that in your head. I had to, to go through my mother yelling up the pasta stairs. Pasta fajoule? Pasta fajoule. Jules. Jules. I think it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of it either way. You say tomato. <laughs> I say tomato. Yes, we will. Uh, OG, who are you talking to? <laughs> uh, yeah, our CW family member, actress Haley Law, is breaking all the rules in her new movie. It's called Mark, Mary, and some other people. Oh. I'm going to tell you, Mark and Mary, it's not Mary, Mary the Singers. <laughs> but Mark and Mary, Mark and Mary are a couple. And then what happens when you get some other people involved? A throuple. It, well, some other, more than what? Oh. We'll, 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 she, wait till she stops by. Okay. Wait till she stops by with the deets. All right. Damn. It's called, well, it's called well. Spice It Up Your Marriage. Oh. Nice one. <laughs> Careful. That guy's got to slow down. He was going a little too fast for the. You know, those trucks always go too fast. They are going incredibly yeah, they are fast. Because they know Ben's doing the speedboat story. I'm so they think you. it applies to them. Give me a honk. Those trucks. Give me a honk. Well, I know, but yeah. tell them to slow down. Slow down. My yeah, goodness. Drive like you live here. My right? That's gosh, what the sign I love that like sign. <laughs> Drive like you live here. Yeah. Uh, it is November fourth, yeah. fifth. Yep. What's today? The fifth all day. <laughs> yep. And day. Uh, it's it's that means it's a new month, everybody, and we have the new documentary picks for the month of November. They're really good. I always say that, but Hazel's been bothering me all week for her for well, me to unveil it. Sorry. Bothering or just inquiring? Bothering. <laughs> Hazel does not bother. She doesn't. But they're coming up and just. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! I can't do this without you. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, we caught her. We reeled there her back she is. in. All right. There we go. For All now. right. How many picks do you have? <laughs> Three. Three picks. Right. Save it, Byron. I'm here for it. What's the <laughs> forecast? <laughs> well, I could get you some uh, warmer weather. I could save you with that. So that's what we're talking about now. Also, we're doing the marathon. So if you're going to be going to the marathon, look at this. Uh, by start time at 8:30. 45 degrees, 50 by 12 o'clock, and then 56 by 2.30. Your current temperatures, we're warming up a little bit. We've got the sun, light winds right now. Oh, not anymore. We did have light winds. Now we've got winds out of the north at 12. So we've got a wind chill still at 42 at 10 o'clock, 41 Kingsbridge. If you're in Steinway, Brooklyn, you're at 40. And look at that, Mount Vernon. You're feeling like almost freezing. We'll heat up. We're going to heat up. This is the extended forecast, and it says here that by Wednesday, we've got a 66 in the forecast. When I come back, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the rain chances over the weekend. I send it back to you. With these kind of temperatures, it's really hard to think about boating. I know, right? but we're but. going but, you know, we're gonna fly through this one. What's up, Ben? Miami Vice style. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I went to the Norwalk Boat Show. We're hanging out with this guy named Henry, and he's like, we're on this inflatable boat, and he's like, you know, we race these things. I'm like, get out of here. He's like, you should come do it on Long Island, and we'll race around and we'll show you what it's all about because it's the most intense feeling of speed you can kind of, you can experience. I said, sure, why not? Let's do it. So we did. Check it out. The calm waters of the Peconic Bay. They're the perfect setting for speeding up and down in an inflatable boat, racing in an inflatable boat. Now, when you think of inflatable boats, your mind probably goes right to this. Hello. Just me hanging out here on a 
beautiful day. Now, just to clarify, these aren't the inflatable boats we'll be discussing today. The ones we're hanging out with are a bit more exciting. Here they come now. Okay, yep, we're good. We're good. We're good. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. These are Thundercats, and they are insane. Often used for rescue missions, they are built for durability, maneuverability, and of course, speed. And today, we are riding in them. But first, a talk with this gentleman hanging off of one. Inflatable boat racing, it's incredibly popular around the world, but tell me exactly what is it? All right, so this is a sport that was developed and it started off roughly about 35, 40 years ago in South Africa. Very high adrenaline sport. It's a crazy fun sport. We race in the M circuit, and then we also have long distance racing, of course, where you can go hundreds of miles. To me, this looks like a regular raft you would put in your pool, but it's a fierce beast. She is. She was designed for racing. How fast are these bad boys going? 55, 65 miles an hour, depending on your engine setup. But we'll jump waves. We'll take this, this boat about 20, 30, uh, 20 feet up into the air. I like boats that don't sink very easily. This is the goal. Good. I see it's, it's two people per team, right? Co-pilot and a pilot. And your co-pilot is probably your most important part on that on the boat. What exactly does the co-pilot do? Co-pilot uh, manages the boat, how it performs, leans into any dangers. So if you take, take a turn, they will lean out of the boat or lean into your boat, depending on what side they sit. If you jump a wave, they'll go move all the way to the front and then just let go and fall back. So you're all one, basically. You're all one, yes. One big threesome. By law, you have to have an oar, and this is the oar that is given. <laughs> the, the two oars. That's not an oar. This is for when you get in trouble. Come on, Tom, let's go! <laughs> the worst comes to worst. You throw this away <laughs> and swim for your life. Let's hit the water, kids. All right, let's do this. We geared up with the standard rigs. Graciously, the guys let me wear the cool-looking helmet. I feel like the biggest nerd about to go on a bicycle. Tech two, tech three, two, 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 two check, one, check. To be totally honest, I'm hoping I get as wet as possible today so I can hide the fact that I'm peeing in my pants. <laughs> We're currently going 35 miles an hour, and it feels very, very fast. Imagine doubling this on an inflatable boat. <laughs> don't, don't. Not a time for jokes, Henry. Hey, you've already been Not in the water today. Jokes. This is how I hold on while we're going, is it's with just, my feet. Yep. You're like an orangutan. Just like an orangutan. <laughs> so you'll be, you'll be doing this, and I just kind of lean where the boat's supposed to go. Yeah, so you're leaning like for the turns, right? Yeah. Yep. You're just, you know, holding the weight, keeping the boat down when we go around those turns. So I have responsibility. You're in complete control. Pontoons sound real nice right now. And finally, we are ready to go. My first time on a Thundercat. Luckily, I handle speed very well. up my shorts right now. It's very cooling. Oh. I hate him so much. But when the adrenaline-filled intensity subsided and I eventually opened my eyes, the sight in front of me was magnificent. Approaching speeds in the 60s, this was officially the closest I've ever been to being a hood ornament. But in the middle of our joyride, my pilot Henry informed us that we had run out of gas. So I did what any loyal team member would do. I abandoned him for an even faster boat. Is this boat a, a lot faster than that one or like just maybe three, four miles an hour? Um, maybe almost 10. Great. But in boating, 10 miles an hour feels like a hundred. Like the worst massage ever. I, feel, baby, I, feel so I think you can gauge how much fun I'm having by the height of my shorts right now. And so our day concluded with the guys from IBR and Lighthouse Marina. But this right here is a perfect example of something I would never try unless it was part of my job. But thank goodness I did. 
It was by far the purest form of speed I've ever encountered. And I can honestly say, I get it. I can see why these guys are so in love with this sport. Because in the end, there's nothing but you. The water, the wind, and the adrenaline that pushes you on. I gotta say, that's intense. Well Thank you to the guys from IBR. Thank you to Lighthouse Marina. Yeah, no, it was a blast. It, it was really beautiful. was something special. And it's, it's, I, 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 I'm not an adventurous person. I'm not that guy. But trying this, I mean, you're just smiling the entire time. Mm. And you see, you're right there. The water's right yeah. in front of your face. So there's nothing in the way. There's no, you know, you're in a Ferrari. You got a Ferrari around you. You're in this car. I mean, this, in, on this boat, there's nothing. It's just you in the water. You feel like you're the actual boat. So mm. go check them out, IBR. Um, they sell the boats too. So you can go buy your own time, Cat, if you want to go mm. racing as well. Would you do it again, Ben? Thundercat. Yes, 100%. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. Oh, cool. It That's looked awesome. great. I'd do it too. It looked great. It looks fun. Yeah. yeah. Fun.